Hey, this is Shakar. And this is Sina. And welcome to The Hive, presented by Superb, where you can find your weekly buzz on campus. Yeah, so today is the 4th of April, 2018. Um, With that being said, I think we should deep dive straight into events we have this week. We can we can begin by uh, talking about Cal Day, which is upcoming next weekend, and we have some nice little artists coming by. We have Flamingosis, and if you haven't heard of Flamingosis, he is a kind of electric indie guy. He plays some great music. He's actually um, very chill vibed, and actually, let me throw you a little sample for you to start everything off. This is good stuff. So if you're trying to catch a little bit more of Flamingosis, he'd be a great guy. He, has, he likes flamingos, I'm sure. Um, likes indie <laughs> electronic. Pure speculation. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, just casually, though. Yeah. <laughs> but he is going to be on 5 p.m. Friday, April 20th, so 4.20, on Upper Sral at 5 p.m. So not next week, the week after that. So not, right? not next week, the yeah. week after that one. So yeah. it's going to be in two weeks. Um, we're just getting him hyped up. And that's Friday, right? That's Friday, 4.20. Okay. And then on Saturday we have two artists. We have well, we have Kuko and we have No Vacation. Um, no Vacation is an indie pop band from SF. They're really good. Um, you should listen to their stuff on Spotify. Um, so you know, have you ever heard Kuko? I actually haven't, but I think I'm gonna start listening to them again. Um, Superb likes to bring a bunch of indie artists, people that you haven't heard a lot of, and kind of give them exposure, kind of have a platform for other people to listen to them, and <clears> that's the whole point. And most of the time, they actually turn out to be really good. Um, right. Like, we had some bangers. Um, we've had we, some bangers, yeah. We can honestly just look around our little studio right here. We had Tori Ma come in. We had Toki Monster come in. Um, we had Dram come in, actually. He was a very high-profile artist. Yeah. Um, we've had a lot of stuff, yeah. We had Mitski. Hotel, um, Hotel Gruda. Really There's a lot of people just trying to get leveraged up into the entertainment world. and We're giving them the platform, essentially, and they're performing. So it's a win-win. Exactly. So you guys should definitely come out. Definitely it's check free. Them out. Cal it's free. ID. I mean, it's Cal Day. You're going to be out anyways. Might as well just stop by and listen to some free bring music. Bring your friends. Bring your family. Bring your mom. Bring everyone. Yeah. Your cousins or distant relatives. Uh, distant relatives, maybe not so much, but like your cousins are fine. F*** yeah. it, bring them. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next up. Um, so after that, we have tomorrow, Thursday, we have a screening of a brand new film called Truth or Dare. Um, so we actually just watched the trailer to this movie and it essentially looks like a mix of horror slash comedy. Um, looks really good. Um, what seems to start off as like a very simplistic, very nice night out with friends turns into... A very dangerous, um, adventurous movie, essentially. Uh, did really well in Rotten Tomatoes, so there's that. I think like 78% or something. I think I think we can give him like a general gist of what will be going on. It's about this truth or dare movie, um, like this revolving around this whole thing, like playing a horror film around the game of truth or dare. Um, it's basically like these group of teenagers that kind of, I guess, turn demons in a way. Like, I can't really tell. Like, the game has its own kind of entity that like, kind of possesses the people. And you get to see how, you know, essentially, if you if you um, refuse a dare or you tell a lie, the game punishes you. So it's like it's like what we when we play truth or dare. Right. That's like the ideal situation, too. But this game takes it to like a whole new level. Exactly. Looks Um, pretty cool. Noticeable actors, Lucy Hale, Tyler Posey, Violet Bean. Having said that, I don't know these individuals, but I'm sure they're great actors. Um, just gonna put that out there. Um, yeah, movie did well in Rotten Tomatoes, so definitely come check it out tomorrow. Um, furthermore, we have Harry Potter trivia. Um, it's gonna be on April fifth, um, which is tomorrow from seven to nine p.m. at the Anahead Alumni Hall. So, right by People's Park, if you're trying to get local. Yeah, I'm personally very excited about that event. It's completely free. Uh, teams of four or less welcome to compete. So bring your bring your roommates, bring your housemates. Um, and the best part is that if you win, you're going to get tickets to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter 
at Universal Studios in Southern California. I think that's like the best prize we've done in a while now. Because yeah, those tickets nuts. are those tickets are expensive. It's dude. Expensive, dude. You're dropping stacks. Cash, baby, <laughs> cash. Yeah. Um, I, I love the event description too. If you're asking yourself if we're too serious, the answer is no. We're Severus. Um, <laughs> Cena will not get that reference. I, I kind of get it, right? It's like Severus Snake. Snape, almost. Snape is yeah. close. I, I haven't watched Harry Potter. He's part of like the point one percent. I saw maybe the first first one. I was like six. I didn't know. There's a bunch of chess pieces that were giant. Yeah, moving around. you play chess, you know? I play chess, but no way. I not... play chess too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this podcast. The hobbies, yeah. But yeah, I mean, like, I never got to it. You've watched all of them, I'm assuming. Dude, right? I've watched all of them. I've read all the books. I'm a big fan. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So like. Why don't you go out, dude? You should be, you should oh, be. I, I'm excited. Dude. Oh, you're right. Reg- I'm oh. bringing the crew, dude. I'm bringing the boys. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to presume you were too cool to watch the Harry Potter scenes. See, I was never, I was kind of more into like the, uh, kind of like the Pokemon kind ah, of deal. Poke- Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh. Y- Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh kind of deal. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. Not so much. I had uh, Harry Potter. I had Lego Harry Potter. Okay. On my uh, Game Boy Advanced. Game Boy <laughs> Advanced. Yeah, dude. And we walk around the mall with that. <laughs> um, but no, unfortunately, I'm not a Harry Potter guy. I wish I was. I feel I never, little, never I feel too little, late. Never too late to get. Yeah, I think it might be a little too late. <laughs> I think twenty-one. Watching like how many? How many of them are there? There's like, like seven. There's like yeah, seven movies. Watching about like twelve to Dude, fifteen hours of movies. You can binge watch about that wizards. in like one night. Come on. You can wizards. <laughs> hey, attractive wizards. True. Um, true. Emma Watson. Shout out if you're still looking to get you know yeah, serious we'll, with we'll, someone. I'm here. <laughs> um, Honestly, all of them. Got a great bachelor right here. Yeah, no, I, I'd like to raise my hand. I'll take <laughs> one for the campus community. Um, but, like, yeah, it, it's it's a great series. Um, formed my childhood, formed, like, the childhood of millions of people. And fun fact, uh, J.K. Rowling, who essentially wrote the books, she was, like, broke when she started to write the I books. I didn't know that. She she was pregnant. She had, she had a she had a baby. She was, she was um, raising the child alone. She used to write the book in, like, a cafe. And next thing you know, she writes this, like, book called Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which is the first one, did really well, bangs, like, six others out over the years. And now she, I think she was, like, I want to say she's a billionaire, actually. Wow. Yeah, because, no dude, way. the Harry Potter yeah. series, it's, like, right? it's huge. It's a staple. It is a staple, yeah. Um, that I haven't watched. That you haven't <laughs> watched, yeah. But um, she, she essentially formed the childhood of millions of people. So um, come out tomorrow. It'll be tons of fun and bring your friends. Yeah, yeah. Win some free tickets. Win some free tickets. So we can move on to some events happening locally. Um, <clears throat> we can start with everyone, everyone's favorite and everything that's, been, everything that's been on people's minds is Coachella. It's coming up next weekend. You're excited about that, right? I am excited. This is actually going to be my first Coachella that I'm going to. Oh, wow. Um, I planned on going last year, but... Um, you know, ended up breaking my foot in Zion. <laughs> Remind us to tell you guys that story in like yeah, a we'll, future episode. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. It's quite the quite the story. It's a but, fantastic story. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited for Coachella. Um, basically, I don't know. Like some, I feel like it might be overhyped though. I feel like it Do might you know be what overhyped. the lineup is like. Yeah, actually, I actually have it right here. Um, so we have headliners of the weekend: Beyonce and Eminem. Oh shit! Not not. Super crazy. I know, like, Eminem's OG, Beyonce, you know, the ladies lover, and The weekend's like, you know, going through his little, like, sad boy phase right now. <laughs> he actually just came out with a new, like, EP, I think. Uh, had, like, six songs in it. Definitely, definitely some bedrock and music, we'll admit. <laughs> but, yeah, other other uh, great mentions would be, like, Kygo, uh, Post Malone, uh, Odessa, Portugal the Man, Migos. Migos, Cardi yeah. B, for all you divas out there. <laughs> um. Yeah, like more on the EDM side, like Elenium, Ilu- Rez, Alice in Wonderland. Um, yeah, I- I'm a- I'm excited. When did you buy your tickets? I actually bought it pre-sale, so last summer. So you got a good deal. No, I got I got like standard price. So I guess like but I it's guess getting because I, I have friends that actually like decided to go like last week and they bought oh, tickets. Yeah, a and lot they had to pay like more than a grand for the tickets. Wow, tickets themselves. I'm guessing like with like car camping. Oh, it's gonna and- come up to like 1.52k. That's yeah, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, mine mine came out to be I think just like for the ticket itself and I think a shuttle pass it was around like four hundred seventy five dollars. Pretty good. Yeah, so it wasn't too bad. But I also did too like there's a payment plan option in case you guys don't know this that you can pay like seventy five seventy or seventy five dollars every month for like ten months to essentially be or able something to... like, something not like for ten months but like for like, I think it's like seven ish eight months and then you essentially have 
essentially bought the price of one ticket. Exactly, yeah. So it's like Is that what you did? That is what I did. It's like oh. less draining on your wallet and like it makes you like more excited per month that you get closer and closer to That's it. actually a very, very It's pretty good way sweet. Of doing it's pretty it. sweet. Yeah. But the only problem is that you don't see the lineup before. <coughs> you're just kind of just like going into it like It's like a leap of faith, honestly. <laughs> And you're going with a, a bunch of people, right, too? Yeah, we're actually uh, camping. We have, like, so I don't know. A lot of people don't camp. A lot of people do camp. But we're camping. We have about four or five camping spots just ready to go right right next to each other. Five so. camping spots next yeah, to so each other? Yeah, so we're going to have our own little party inside of Coachella. So, so it's going to be a Coachella within Coachella, Yeah, I'm looking okay. not to die this weekend. That's that's the uh, main Knowing goal. you, man, that's going to be a stretch, but <sighs> but we can cross our fingers. We'll figure it out. I might need to get in some new health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, Kaiser, what? No. <laughs> But uh, let's go on. So we have on topic of concerts and uh, entertainment. What's or not is tomorrow. Right. Um, I think it's an SF. Might be in Oakland. Uh, another EDM artist. He actually just released an album. Great album. Go check him out. Another topic. The RSF for all you workout guys out there, guys and girls, and others. They got new um, equipment. We yeah. have yeah, we have new equipment. Um, Shiki, you've been. I haven't been to the RSF. More memorial guy myself. You're yeah, because you're closer, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just live like a block or two away, but cool. no, dude. The how RSF is, it? is a well. Firstly, it's a staple for like a, a large part of our campus community. <laughs> um, the, the new equipment's pretty good, actually. It's 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 golden. Um, it's like yellow slash golden. Um, oh, yeah. essentially, what they've done is they've added like I think two three benches per workout station. So what you have is you can have more people working in now. Um, they've also essentially secured some of the initial machines. Some of the machines were pretty wobbly, so they've stabilized them. So that's pretty good. Um, other than that, I know they're currently also redoing the changing rooms. If you've been recently, you'll know. Yeah, I know. I, I remember seeing that a little bit ago. Yeah, because what they're trying to do is they're trying to make just one big changing room now for guys and gals. Really? Uh, it's like a unisex one completely. That's kind of crazy. Well, it, yeah, it's crazy, but it'll save space. So oh, save space and be gender inclusive. Too. Exactly, wow. best of both worlds, dude. Knocking out two birds with one stone. <laughs> Knocking out two birds with one stone. Um, so, yeah, if you want to go to the RSF, check that out. Um, and get those gains. Spring break. Well, spring break spring is over. over, but you know, summer games summer, are still baby. on the way. Yeah. Impress some. Um, impress Emma Watson. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So next on- up. We have some funny slash... I'm just looking at the Google Doc right now. We have some <laughs> funny slash interesting things to mention. So, uh, you know me, Twitter guy as usual. <laughs> Finding all the memes, everything that's going down on Twitter. Um, there's just one video, I'm sure you guys have heard it or seen it by now, that is basically this little boy in Walmart. Of course, Walmart, you know, where else when the crazy shit goes down? Quintessentially American. Exactly. Yeah. Um, this little boy, and he's yodeling yodeling slash like country singing i can't really tell uh, let me throw you a little snippet so you guys couldn't hear oh boy it's just ready to get down i've never seen this yeah so, yeah no. yo shiggy yeah come check this one out yeah. <laughs> so for those for those of you that are just listening it's basically just like a little like he looks like maybe like seven years old. He's wearing a white dress shirt, red bow tie, Adorable jeans, kid, yeah. huge belt, just a huge like cowboy belt, boots, just tapping his foot along. And you know, I don't know about you, but I'm I'm not so much of a country yodeling guy. But uh, after, you after this, yeah, you don't seem to be. <laughs> after this, I might be swayed. Really? You know, I might be going towards the yodeler <laughs> kind of deal. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, gotta get, gotta give the kid that. Memes, the best of our generation. This is this is what we live for. <laughs> All right, so um, I think we're pretty much done here, aren't yeah, we? That's about it. So come out to all of our events. Yeah, as we mentioned, Harry Potter trivia night tomorrow night, as well as a screening of Truth or Dare, and then of course Cal Day in a few weeks. So thanks for listening. This was Shakar and this was Sina. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe on YouTube. All at ASUC Superb Productions.